Welcome to the first tutorial by PC Run Easy. This is the first time I've done something like this, so if I stutter or um, just keep saying um a bit, um, please bear with me. I'll get a lot better with this as the more I do. But this is the first one, so I don't expect it to be smooth or professional. Uh, just bear with me. Okay. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the desktop background in Windows 7. Most people are already going to know how to do this. But as my website is aimed at beginners, I'm going to start right at the beginning and first create quite a few tutorials aimed mainly directly at them with all the basic simple things like this. So if you already know how to do this then please stop watching now because you, there's going to be nothing useful here for you. And people who don't know how to do it keep watching and you'll understand. Maybe learn something. <laughs> okay. So changing the desktop background first I'm going to show you three ways how to do this just to give you a few more options rather than one standard thing um, but the first way I'm going to show you is the I suppose the most standard way so anywhere on a desktop background which is this here just right click and go down to personalize which brings up this window. Um, we want this bit down here, desktop background. Click on that. Which opens this. Now, the images that you see here are the ones provided by default uh, with Windows 7. Now, if you want one of these displayed as your desktop background, it's as simple as clicking click on the picture as you can see the background changed instantly to the image that I selected you can do this with any of these images okay if you if you like one of them images and you're happy and this is all you needed to know then just click save changes close the other window and yeah, you're done I'm gonna run through a few more options here if you select all of the images by clicking select all there, this bottom bit is not greyed out anymore and is selected to 10 seconds. As you can see, the background already just changed on itself, on its own, <laughs> on itself. Um, shuffle next to it is selected, which means it will show these images in a random order. But it will change the image every 10 seconds, like a slideshow. This is very annoying, um, but it doesn't have to be on 10 seconds. That's just for the sake of this tutorial. You can change it to a day, anywhere between 10 seconds and a day. Which, you know, could be useful if it was on a day, different desktop, background every day, change things up a bit. Or, yeah, if, if this is your thing, then there you go. Um, click save change again and it'll be done. You can select specific images by unchecking and checking whichever ones that you want. And also this checkbox, if you're using a laptop and you're not plugged into the mains a lot, this would probably be something you wouldn't want to do so much because it will run the battery down quite quickly, especially if it was on 10 seconds. So that's something to think about there. It will, if this is checked, then it will pause it when, you're, when you've not got the power lead plugged in to save power. Well, that's that bit. You've also got options here for the picture position. F um, fill, fit, stretch, tile, center. Now, 
just have a play around with these. It will change the way the image is displayed slightly on your desktop, depending on the size of the image that you're using. So I can't really give any recommendations on them. It's more personal preference. Once you've selected your image, for example, the Windows one, Windows one, there we go. Um, see if you fit. See, it's changing about a bit. So it, it just depends on what you want. And you click Save Changes again if you're done. I'm going to show you one last thing in here before I go on to the next part. If you go down to Solid Colors, then you can change your desktop background to a static color. Which, you know, if you've not got an image you want to use, or you don't like an image, you'd rather have something that's less distracting, more professional, I suppose, or more unique to your personality. There you go. Again, save changes if you're happy with it. Uh -huh. You've got more. See if you want to find a specific color, you can mess about with the things in here. Find a color that you're happy with. There you go. Um, also, it's like showing desktop here as well, which is the image that I'm going to change to. Is where it is. It's on the desktop, and you can, it's changed to that already. I'm just going to minimize this for a second. See. Now, if you have any pictures of your own, they're probably going to be in your picture library, unless you've saved them somewhere else specific on your on your computer. For now, I'm just going to go back to this one and show you what happens when you click Save Changes, of course. Save Changes, bring you back to this window, close that window, there you go. Now, the other option is if you've got an image and you already know exactly where it is and you can just simply right click on that image and set as desktop background and it instantly changes until does that. Now the last option is if you're on the internet and you come across a picture that you'd like or you're on a wallpaper website then I'm just going to bring up my site there. Now that's the image that's already on the desktop already set as the desktop background. But I'm showing you here, if you had an image on the internet that you liked, you bring it up. You can see it's shrunk down at the minute to fit within the browser. So just click on it to fully extend size. Um, right click on the image and click set as desktop background. Again you can change between these options depending on the size of the image and if it is showing some background if the image is too small and you've done center then there will be a background obviously here and you can change the color of that. And once you're happy and click set desktop background and this image if it wasn't already set as the background it would now be as it's set as the background that's basically it I hope this was helpful I understand that it's not teaching nothing new to anybody that already knows well, thank you for watching this far if you did um, rate, subscribe, comment let me know what you think Oh, suggestions for future tutorials yeah well thank you bye bye